hi slim stars welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing my face then you're welcome to my channel um if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button down below it's free and it helps my channel grow in today's video we're going to learn how to make a pleated structured sleeve okay if you haven't seen my story on how to make a basic structured sleeve with boning then definitely check it out i'll leave the link to that video in the pinned comment down below but like i said today we're going to be making a pleated structured sleeve okay so the first thing you want to measure is you want to measure for the length of your pleated structured sleeve okay so the final length you want to get when you're done so i want to place this structured sleeve right here at the side here and i want it to start from this top part and then i want it to be four inches long so that's the length that i want my sleeve to be when i am done pleating it and attaching it okay another measurement you need to measure is your round sleeve measurement so that's the circumference of your upper arm so you want to measure it for this mannequin is nine inches but i'm making this dress for my clients and her round sleeve measurement is 15 inches okay so we're going to use this measurement now and go ahead and draft our structured sleeve oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> so to make this um, pleated structured sleeve you want to get your fabric of choice okay so for me i'm using this velvet fabric okay I really love the color it's burnt orange so you can use any fabric of your choice you can also use doll face um, satin as well so first of all we determine the length we want okay so for the length which is like how long you want it to be I want mine to sit about sit at about four inches when I'm done remember that this is this is a pleated um, sleeve so obviously it's going to be longer before the pleating so when you pleat it it now becomes the original length that you want so i want the final length to be four inches okay so the length i want is four inches all right so this is four inches now i'm going to multiply this by three since i'm going to be pleating it so four times three will give me 12 inches so the length i have here from here to here is 12 inches now this is unfold because i want this to serve as both the main fabric and the lining now for the width you want to take your round sleeve measurements so my round sleeve measurement is 15 inches and i just multiplied that by 1.3 and that gave me 19.5 inches okay so the width from here to here is 19.5 now it depends on how wide you want it to be remember that this sleeve kind of goes around the arm and then it has like a bit of an excess okay that's what makes it stand and that's what makes it like an exaggerated sleeve okay so you want to have your round sleeve measurement but then you want to you want the final um, width to be much longer than your actual round sleeve measurements and that's why i multiply by mine by 1.3 you can also multiply yours by two inches actually but i don't want mine to be that wide so depending on how wide you want the sleeve to be then obviously make your decision and then multiply it with the right um, number okay so this is the length 12 inches and this is the width 19.5 inches so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my hair stay and i'm going to fuse on this okay so i'll fuse my hair stay on the wrong side of this just to give it some structure it's as you can see it's velvet it's stretchy and it's actually very light so the hair stay will give it some structure so that it's, it's easier to work with so after coming in with the hair stay this is what it looks like okay now it's much firmer and it's actually not stretching as much as it was before i you know use the hair stays now from this point there are two ways to create this um, pleated structure sleeve the first method is using a crinoline so if you have a crinoline try to get the one that's two inches wide now just go down from the edge by half an inch and then join the crinoline up here and down here okay make sure you're joining the crinoline at the length not at the width but we're not going to be using crinoline for this we're going to be using peplum stay so either crinoline or peplum stay whichever one you have works fine so now i'm just going to fold it okay so i can cut it into two and then separate the lining piece from the fabric piece remember that after cutting it each piece is still going to be 12 inches um long by 19.5 inches wide okay i just cut it on four so i can cut the lining piece and the fabric piece together and then fuse them with the hair stay at the same time now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my peplum stay and i'm going to fuse on just one of these pieces okay 
So just fuse your peplum stay on only one. Now after fusing my peplum stay, this is what it is. So as you can see, I fused my peplum stay on this one and this one is still without the peplum stay. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to place them right sides facing like this. Okay. And now I'm just going to join the top and the bottom. So after sewing, this is what we have. Now we're going to turn this to the right side. Now the next thing we're going to do is iron this flat, okay? Try to iron it flat so that everything sits nicely. Now go ahead and trim out about um, one inch from the peplum stay so it's easier for you to sew it. If you don't trim it out, it will be really, really difficult to sew. So after ironing it, this is what we have. So I'm just going to go ahead now and weave these ends close so it's nice and neat. And then the next thing we have to do is simply just pleat it, okay? So we just pleat it like this. You can decide how many pleats you want to have. And now at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you have that um, length that you actually desire, okay? So when I measure this, what I have is 4 inches as you can see. So I'll just go ahead and do the same thing with this side. Make sure you have the same pleats on both sides, okay? So when you're done pinning the pleats in place, just go ahead and sew it. Like I said, trimming out um, one inch out of the peplum stay will make it easy for you to sew, okay? Now when you're done sewing, just make sure you measure to be sure that you have your desired length. Now this is what it looks like after sewing both sides, okay? So by the time I fold it, look at how lovely it looks, guys. So all you have to do now is just separate it a bit so it's a bit um fuller okay to give it more volume so now that we're done drafting our structured sleeve we've also gone ahead to sew the pleats in place and what we have to do is now just go ahead and place it where we want to place it so like i said i want it to start from the top here and then just go down to this point so i'm just going to go ahead and pin it in place So once we pin this part, we're going to go ahead and pin it at the back as well. Now for the back, you want to decide where you want it to be. About, let's say, 5 to 6 inches from the zipper. That should be fine. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the back. And this is what it looks like in front. Can you see how lovely it is? Now don't mind that it looks very big. Remember that the mannequin's round sleeve is just 10 inches and my client's is 15 inches, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the dress off the mannequin and I'm going to go ahead and sew this down with my sewing machine. Make sure you tack it very, very well. And at the end of the day, I'm going to use appliques to cover this um, join in here so it's nice and neat, okay? So I'm done attaching the sleeves to the dress. All I'm going to do now is just simply use the appliques to just cover, um, you know, this joining part. I actually plan to use the appliques to cover the entire bust area. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, but basically this is how to make a pleated structured sleeve. So if you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. It's really, really important. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the finished look as well once I'm done embellishing with the applique. Thanks for watching. Bye.